Hello English learners. Welcome to Practice English with Maple Channel. In today lesson, we will practice English together for 20 minutes. With some exercises that to help you improve your speaking and listening skills. Are you ready? Let's get started. Part 1, Listening. In this part, you will have to fill in the blank while listening to a conversation. You will have 5 seconds for each answer. Listen carefully to catch the answer. Gosh, this is unbelievable. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Well, I'm flying with American Airlines today. When I started to board, I found out that I lost my wallet. It's gone. It's driving me crazy. I'm so sorry to hear that. Can you tell me what was in it, sir? Okay. It contained my visa and cash. Oh, sorry. My visa is still here with me. And, um, I put my passport in it. I think so. We're going to help you to report this to the embassy. How's about your ID and your ticket, sir? My visa and ID card are in my pocket. Oh, the boarding pass was also in my wallet. Jesus, what a day. I've only got the credit cards here. How much money was there, sir? Um, I'm not sure. I guess like several hundred pounds. Okay, I got it. When was the last time you saw it, sir? Oh, um, let me recall. The taxi dropped me off at 4.30 p.m. We'll try our best to help you find your wallet so you can get on the plane in time. I was late and in a hurry. Oh, the wallet was still with me when I was at the entrance. And I didn't remember much after that about the wallet. So your wallet might be missing from 4.30 till now. I've noted down all the information. We'll try to track down your missing wallet ASAP. Yes, please. I'm really pressed for time right now. I think I dropped it somewhere near the entrance. Oh, by the way, my wallet is brown, made of leather. And there's a small letter R on it. Got it. One moment, sir. I'll call the front desk first to ask if they have your wallet there. They often keep lost items there. That would be great. When I heard the last call from the speaker, I panicked. I don't know what to do. Sir, five minutes ago, our security guard found a small brown leather wallet next to the check-in counter. Gosh, I think that's mine. How can I get it back? The guard will bring it here to you, sir. What a relief. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. My pleasure, sir. Have a safe flight. Thanks. Have a good day then. Part 2. Learn new words. Now we will move on to the next part, which is learning vocabulary. For beginners, learning vocabulary is very important. Try to develop a habit of learning vocabulary every day to improve your English skills. Let's learn some new words together in today's lesson. To board. To board is to get on or into a car, airplane, or train. Visa. Visa is an endorsement on a passport indicating the permission to enter, leave, or stay in a country. Cash. 
Cash is money in coins or notes. Report. Report is to say or inform someone about something. Credit card. Credit card is a card issued by a bank allowing the holder to purchase goods or services. To recall. To recall is to remember. Note down. Note down means to write down. To track down. To track down means to find somebody or something after searching in several different places. Panic. Panic is a sudden feeling of great fear that cannot be controlled and prevents you from thinking clearly. Part 3. Speaking. Do you understand all the new words? Okay. So we heard the conversation and learned new vocabulary. It's time to practice our speaking skills. We will practice speaking in duet method together. Are you ready? Let's go. Gosh, this is unbelievable. Well, I'm flying with American Airlines today. When I started to board, I found out that I lost my wallet. It's gone. It's driving me crazy. Okay. It contained my visa and cash. Oh, sorry. My visa is still here with me. And, um, I put my passport in it. I think so. My Visa and ID card are in my pocket. Oh, the boarding pass was also in my wallet. Jesus, what a day. I've only got the credit cards here. Um, I'm not sure. I guess like several hundred pounds. Oh, um, let me recall. The taxi dropped me off at 4.30 p.m. I was late and in a hurry. Oh, the wallet was still with me when I was at the entrance. And I did remember much after that about the wallet. Yes, please. I'm really pressed for time right now. I think I dropped it somewhere near the entrance. Oh, by the way, my wallet is brown, made of leather. And there's a small letter R on it. That would be great. When I heard the last call from the speaker, I panicked. I don't know what to do. Gosh, I think that's mine. How can I get it back? What a relief. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. Thanks. Have a good day then. Part 4. Question and Answer Great job everyone! Now it's time for us to move on to the practice part by answering questions related to today's lesson. Let's get started! 1. Did Ryan manage to find his missing wallet? Yes. No. Two, Ryan kept all his cash and credit cards in his wallet. True, false. Three, what can Jess do to help Ryan about his lost passport? A, report this to the embassy. B, call the front desk to ask. C, make a new one.
4. How much money was in Ryan's wallet? A. Several hundred pounds. B. Several thousand pounds. C. No cash was there. Five. What does it mean by panic? A. To write down. B. A sudden overpowering fright. C. To say or inform someone about something. Six. Why was Ryan late and in a hurry? A. He spent too much time finding his wallet. B. He couldn't find his ticket. C. The taxi driver dropped him at the wrong place. 7. What kind of material is Ryan's wallet made of? A. Leather. B. Fabric. C. Wool. 8. What place in the airport did Jess mention where they keep lost items? A. Arrivals. B. Check-in counter. C. Front desk. 9. What was the last time Ryan saw his wallet? A. At the front desk. B. Near the entrance. C. At the departure. 5. Think and speak in English. Now we come to the final part of today's lesson. Practicing thinking and speaking in English is a very effective method to improve your communication reflexes and speaking skills. Make it a daily habit from now on by 5W question. Let's practice together. Nate, wake up! Oh, gosh. What time is it? It's 9 a.m. Are you good? Gosh. I was so tired. You never sleep in the classroom. How can this happen? I didn't have coffee this morning. Maybe that's why. Who fell asleep? Nate. Where did he sleep? In the classroom. When did he wake up? At 9 a.m. What did he do? He fell asleep. Why did he sleep in the classroom? Because Nate didn't have coffee today. Nate didn't have coffee today. He was really tired and fell asleep at 9 this morning in the classroom. Excuse me, can you tell me how to go to church? Oh, sure. After taking this street, you turn right. Thanks. Are you a local here? Oh, not really. I used to live here three years ago. Now I'm back to London. Great. That's why you know the way very well. Yeah, I can remember all the roads here. Who comes back to London? Mia. What can Mia remember in London? All the roads in London. When does she come back to London? Now. Where did she live three years ago? London. Why can Mia know the way very well? Because Mia used to live in London three years ago. Now Mia comes back here and remembers all the roads here. Gosh, what a day. What happened? Well, a strong wind blew my hat away this morning. Sorry about that. What were you doing at that time? Oh, I was crossing the road. I think I lost the hat somewhere on the street. I couldn't find it. Who lost his hat? Peter. What was he doing at that time? He was crossing the road. Where was he? On the street. When did he lose it? This morning. Why did he lose his hat? Because the wind was so strong at that time. 
Peter lost his hat on the street when crossing the road this morning. The wind was so strong at that time. What are you doing? Oh, I'm writing a letter for my mom. Where is she right now? She's in China to work. She's been there for three weeks. Did you miss her? Yes, very much. We haven't met for weeks. I'll send this to her tomorrow. Who's writing? Fiona. What is Fiona writing? A letter. When will she send the letter? Tomorrow. Where is her mother? In China. Why does Fiona miss her mother so much? Because they haven't met for weeks. Fiona will send her mother in China a letter tomorrow. They haven't met for weeks and Fiona really misses her. Josh, are you even listening? Oh, yeah. Sorry. What did you say? Gosh, you were so busy watching that football match. It's so good. My team is winning. You should get out of the living room and help me with the chores. You've been there for two hours already. Who's not listening? Josh. What's Josh doing? He's watching a football match. When did he start watching the match? Two hours ago. Where is he right now? In the living room. Why did he not listen to his girlfriend? Because he was so busy watching a football match on TV in the living room. Josh wasn't listening to his girlfriend at that time. He was busy watching a football match on TV in the living room.